Hello there, Erunar here, and today we will review Melipoea Fiction. Melipoea Fiction is led by Philoctetes. This guy is having various quite balanced stats and a lot of abilities, one of which is Poison. He is ignoring shields because it is a missile unit, a long range missile unit. Up. Usually, missile heroes have the bonus speed ability, maybe triple shot, and this one has some extra HP healing and more accuracy range. Usually, it's recommended to put him on the missile chariot so he can be very mobile, active and doing a lot of uh, missile damage. For the infantry, we are starting with the militia and there is one cheaper weaker unit which is Meliboyan youths and these guys, maybe they have a terrible weapon but they have battlefield healing. They are squishy, weak but they can heal up. So this one unit it's a good fodder which is uh, needed only for a couple of seconds. You don't want to fight him for long. You want to maneuver and keep this alive. So, uh, therefore, militia is not recommended to use in the roster. But the Young Spears, the standard solid uh, unit, it is very recommended. It has bonuses versus everything, good charge, very good dueling and chasing unit. Uh, Melibe offers different charger or chaser unit. Uh, this one is with strong axe. It deals a lot of pierce damage. It has also good charge. So it is very good variant. If you are going to face more axes and swords, you will ping young, you will pick your young spears. Otherwise, you will go with Melipoan riders, or maybe you just mix them. Another low tier alternative is Melipoan boar hunters. These are flankers, very good flankers, but you have to use the flanking attack improved in order to do some damage and routing because they by themselves have terrible spear and weak stats uh, so you have to use them as flankers then we got standard spearman that is your only the front line option and this front line is very weak in early game then light swordsman they are they has to be used as flankers, otherwise they are not worth it. Then in mid mid game we got Meliban Axe Warriors. These are just just like the light or cheaper ones. This is the upgraded fodder version. They have quite good defense attack, quite okay weapon. They are they are not so tanky, but with the battlefield healing, you can use them as temporal frontline unit. Then with charger, we got the... Oh, this is actually a flanker. This medium spear, Meliban land hunters, you shall use them as flanker uh, or flank charge them efficiently to deal a lot of damage. But if you want pure charger, you pick Meliban Axe Champions, they deal a lot of damage, they need to be charging and cycle charging. Uh, they might be a lot of sk very squishy, but uh, you have to use them to route enemies. Next in the roster are renowned club warriors. These are mediocre or slightly worse in it than others and usually it is not recommended to use them as we already have better and faster chargers in the roster. 
in the late game, we got solid front line. Oh, but wait a minute. This front line is quite interesting because attacks are doing uh, damage over time. They have poisonous spears and when they successfully hit, they are going to deal uh, damage over time. And they are not so good as front lines, but enemies will uh, lose their HP over time. It's, it is very funny to use. It's weak and squishy by default, but the, but the poison is doing a lot of uh, damage over time. So it's very fast to bring enemies down. So we need to be careful to not lose this unit. Alternatively, you shall use these companions of Medon as your uh, frontline alternative. They are having a solid weapon, go very good stats, better field healing, everything that should be there. Uh, so I highly recommend using these as frontline. But if you want to have some fun, this faction is very funny with, with the Melipian nobles. And how about upgrading our chargers? We got Melipian berserkers. They do have very strong axe uh, weapon. Okay, charge. What makes them terrifying or strong is the uh, bears last stand ability. When it drops HP, the, the more defense it will have. And if the HP drops even lower, they go full berserk. So it means they are going to be almost unbreakable. And if you are afraid, go and heal up. On the missiles, we got uh, very... Of, uh, interesting uh, roster. We start with one guard deployment, just like Ithaca. These guys can hide in the scraps, so you can vanguard and ambush uh, from the early game. Much better than Javelin Travers. These are not recommended usually. Uh, then we have Bowman. They are absolutely worse and a more expensive option. Then heavy javelin traverse. In theory, they are able to stop chariots, but their missile output is very weak. They are throwing very weak javelins. And what is interesting about this faction? Uh, again, your missiles or archers are going to vanguard, forward, hide in the t terrain, and go and ambush. And the most funny missile unit, companions of Philoctetes, they have snipe, stalk and poison. And their arrows deal damage over time. So it's a very expensive, squishy, very weak, but if you manage to hide it, uh, you can Throw some uh, poison arrows to one unit, then some another volley to different unit, and deal a lot of damage over time. It's very funny to use uh, this unit. Might be expensive and very fragile, but this vol this roster is fragile, but very funny uh, and more yolo. About chariots, we got just standard Achaean chariots. Now I will show you the very first battle, which happens to be a settlement battle instead of the land battle. We are going to be outnumbered from the start, uh, but since we are attacking, we will pick the fights how we want. So, I have started uh, with two destruction units on the far right. 
So one, two, three, four, five units are uh, very far away. And I can bring my other missiles and other units closer to do some damage right here. So we are as Meliboya, we are starting with two missile units plus your hero, which is improved missile unit. And this is this will be our source of damage right now. Enemy has a lot of uh, young spears without shields and that they will be easy target for us. Also we will have to watch out enemy missiles and, and ca carefully maneuver our units to be ready to block enemy frontline. Right now we are picking one unit We'll, pow we'll pause and we will continue with different unit. Uh, next step is bringing back our forces so we can better out uh, outnumber enemies. And it will take a lot of time for them to reinforce. As you can see I am picking fight against another javelins. So. Since AI is slightly mm, stupid, you can just safely pick fights or pick uh, units to attack. To make it more interesting, we have started, uh, we have provoked one unit with our frontline or fodder just to bring, just to bring our flankers behind and use our chargers or riders to charge them frontally. So I got three units, all fragile units are working together to absolutely abuse and fight this hero unit and he is going to lose HP very quickly. I have to use my units efficiently as this is going to be a tough battle. But see since right here I have outnumbered one enemy by one, it's going to be relatively easy. I need to preserve my ammunition and use it wisely. These young spears will be easy target against any my unit. So I will be shuffling around my units to get more and better value. Enemy is bringing some units to fight. I can afford boar hunters to go against them. Young spears have bonus versus access, so I was afraid to use riders. And yes, now I have won this battle. So, next thing is Akean slings. I have only Melibuan youths to have shields to, to block enemy projectiles and it then overwhelm slings with my missiles and that will be easy victory on this front as well. Here I was able to finish off units and very soon I will go against these young spears. So far I get rid of 1, 2, 3 for units, it will be another unit. So I have to be carefully switching and shuffling my units so so the youth is getting HP back and the flankers and chargers are winning our my fights. Another example I have started with youth. My youth is the front line. Light swordsmen are being flanked, very good for me. Let's keep abusing the AI, I want to use my missiles against hero. Here was very nice swap of the axes with chargers, so, uh, so they can heal up and I can deal damage and route this finally. And then enemy is bringing hero. 
not just any hero. Shielded Spearman, that's quite strong. I will have to use all my missiles and frontline and flankers in order to bring this strong hero down. Meanwhile, these uh, guys are trying to hold the ground, but they are not so good as frontline. That's why I was maneuvering a lot of uh, time to make them survive. Now I'm overwhelming the spearmen. I really need to bring... I'm constantly switching units, maneuvering them and using efficiently my ammunition. Now I need to go and slightly win the battle. This one unit was routing away. Frontline can be doing some frontline work. And I can do some... I got t I got two chargers against two, against two missiles. That should be easy win. So that's why I can afford to send them and conquer here. Meanwhile here I will try to win this blob. An enemy is going to sandwich my chargers, which is unfortunate for me. So let's see if, if I will win or lose. Doing the best is... I can be... Yeah. No Try... Yes, I have split my forces. One slowing down spearmen, the other one dealing with missiles. Here, these boys, power hunters are excellent. They are doing a lot of work and kills. I will, I will send my reinforcements here. Sandwich. Ah yes, I will sandwich this unit and that should route it. Have been and then I have to bring everything to the center so I can win. Yes, they are routing, finally. It was quite dangerous, but it's possible. Let's check how much value did I get. My hero did a lot of value. Missiles are excellent. This is what you get on the campaign, so very nice. The front line did a lot of work and most of the kills will be done by flankers or chargers. Look at this, beautiful. 200 kills, over 1000 of damage, so quite yellow but totally worth it. And that's pretty much it, see you later.